Hi there, this is Luke. I'm going to do a quick five minute tutorial on making a keychain uh, out of a flat image file. So let's get started. So I want to create a new design in Tinkercad. In Tinkercad, I can only import STL object and SVG files. So I need to go get an image, convert it to one of these formats and import it. So let's go to Google and search for a logo. I'm going to look at the images here and I'm going to find something pretty basic. So let's grab this Floop logo here. I'm going to save this. All right, I've got it. And we're going to go to a program called PNG to SVG.com. I'm going to convert this PNG image to SVG. I'm going to choose the file that we just got. I'm going to only get these two orange colors here. I don't need all this gray, so I'm going to reduce the colors that I import here to these two. And let's can generate this or convert this. And now we have an SVG file. Let's save this. All right, so let's go back to Tinkercad. This is my uh, blank design plate. We're going to name it Keychain. There we go. All right, so let's import that logo and i'm going to make this 100 millimeters wide that's more of the size uh, for a keychain for me and i'm going to import that and there we go so i can't just save this and print this on my 3d printer all, all the letters and stuff will fall apart so what i need to do is make a backer for this uh, before i do if i click on this you can see uh there's no, I don't know how high it is or anything. So just drag and drop a ruler anywhere on the build plate here. And now we have some sizes. So I'm going to make this a little flatter, three millimeters. That's the height that I want. I'm going to get a box here and I'm going to create a uh, back box over a box over this. That's a little too high. So let's go less than three. Let's say 1.5 millimeters. All right. There's my box. So that does not look good. So let's highlight this. We're going to center this or align. This is the alignment tool. That looks good. Cool. So I want to do a border. Let's do a border quick. I'm going to highlight my uh, box here. I'm going to duplicate it. Let's pull it off to the side. I'm going to make it uh, 1.5 millimeters thicker or wider and not thicker. I'm sorry, wider. 102.5. All right. And let's make this three millimeters high. I'm going to take this here. I'm going to make it an invisible box. I'm going to put that over this. Before I do, I'm going to lift it uh, 1.5 up. So there we go. And I need to align that in here. Let's align that center to that. Cool. All right. And so now I'm going to combine these two boxes to do a cutaway here. So let's hit combine here or group. And then we've got a border. Let's slide this back over here. And I'm going to highlight it. And we're going to align this again. There we go. So now I have a keychain. Let's just do a, a hole for the key ring. I'm going to make this hole. About three millimeters, three by three. Oops, wrong size. There we go. So let's take that hole and bring that up here in the corner. All right. And let's highlight that. Connect it. There we go. We've got the hole. Everything is grouped together. We are ready now to export this to an STL file and send it to my 3D printer. So that was a very quick five minute tutorial on creating a keychain with Tinkercad from a flat image file. Thank you very much.